fuck you doing up here? Help goes into the back. I'm, uh, I'm here to see Mr. Marcano. The name's Lincoln Clay. That a fact? I'll be goddamned. Mind your manners while you're in there, boy. Or there'll be hell to pay you here. Park over to the side. Clay, Christ, man, get a look at you. I let those fucking gooks shit themselves when they saw you coming. Been a long time, Georgie. Oh, no shit has been a long time. I think the last time I saw you was that night over in the French Ward, right before you shipped out. <laughs> Damn, if that wasn't a gas. Oh, I seem to remember me and Ellis running from the cops uh, and Danny ending up in the drunk tank. Hell, man, I bailed him out. So I just worth it to knock the hell out of them cracker assholes. <laughs> Smoke? Sure. Oh, man. Sammy said Mr. Marcano wanted to see me. Mr. Marcano? Shit. Make him sound like a goddamn lawyer. You just call him Sam. Come on, he's in the back. <laughs> I should have wore something else. Hey, these squares have a problem with your threads. Take it up a mild man. He'll tell him to kiss his ass. <laughs> nice thing about having fuck you money. Olivia, I hate to cut this short, darling, but I've got a meeting coming up. Remy, a pleasure as always, sir. Two more glasses. <laughs> Lincoln, good to see you. This is Vito Scaletta. He's the one I've been telling you about. Come on, Lincoln, sit down. So you served in Vietnam, huh? Yes, sir. Sal tells me uh, you earned a few pieces of tin over there. Well, I served with some good men. Nothing I did would have happened without them. Army? Marines? Regular army at first, and then I was recruited to the 5th SFG. Special Forces. I told you it was something else. Now, not that anything's gonna go wrong, but just in case, goddamn, don't you want a man like that on your side? Well, if you're vouching for him, Sal, that's good enough for me. <laughs> Look, I got a couple things to take care of. Thanks for the drink. Christ, that guy's an asshole. <laughs> Fucking carpetbagger. Commission sent him down here from Empire Bay about 15 years back. He's been a pain in my goddamn ass ever since. Well, I guess you're wondering what this is all about. Yeah, Sammy didn't tell me too much. Twice a year, the feds take old money out of circulation and destroy it. Over the course of the next few days, that money's gonna be delivered here to the reserve in town. And you're gonna hit one of those shipments? <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. We are gonna use that occasion to gain access to their vault. And then steal everything that ain't nailed down. <laughs> Should be six, seven million in there? Easy. <laughs> that's, that's pretty fucking ballsy. <laughs> it's a chance of a goddamn lifetime is what it is. Now, Vito's fronting a lot of the money for the job, and he got us the combination to the vault. Hey, you had a chance to see Danny? No, not yet. Oh, well, you will. We brought him and his old man in on this, and they're gonna need your help, so go see them. They're still in that same place. There's something else we gotta talk about. Now, it's safe to assume you know about the problem Sammy's been having. I took care of the Haitians. Once things settle down, money will start coming in again. You see that right there? That's what I'm talking about. You didn't sit around with your thumb jammed in your ass. You saw a problem, you went out and took care of it. God damn, I take that over money any day of the week. We pay our own way, debts and all, always have. Oh, hell, son, I know that. I wouldn't expect otherwise. But you know, even after we all evened up, you're still gonna be slopping around in the ass end of this city. Not much of a future in that. But maybe there's a different way forward, you understand? For all of us. What'd you have in mind? I want you to know I mean no disrespect when I say this. Sammy's a hell of a man, but he's not getting any younger. And I'm thinking it's time to make a change. Well, I don't think that Ellis is ready for that kind I'm of not talking about Ellis. I'm talking about you. I want you to run the holler. <laughs> I can't do that. Well, look here, if you're worried about Sammy, don't, you understand? Now, he's always been on the level with me. And this job we're talking about, 
There's more than enough for him to retire on. He took me in when I had nowhere else to go. Treated me like a son. I'm sorry, Mr. Marcano. I, I can't do that to him. Well, shit, son. I'd be lying if I didn't say I wasn't just a little disappointed. But I get it. You're loyal. Which is something that is scarce these days. Do you still want me to help with this thing we've been talking about? <laughs> you goddamn right I do! <laughs> and when it's all done, you all be more than square with me. You have my word. <laughs> what do you really want to hear? That we kidnap and torture anyone suspected of working with the VC? I'm trying to ascertain the level of training that Lincoln Clay received during his time in Vietnam. Someone like that, you don't need to train. You point them in the right direction, you get the fuck out of their way. Those guards will cut us down the second we make a break for it. Tell Danny he needs to get us out of here. And these bastards got us pinned down. Y'all need to figure something out. I got some TNT. I'll put on our side a hole and detonate it. What the fuck is that going to accomplish? With any luck, it'll blow a hole big enough for y'all to drop down. With any luck, Danny, do you even know what the fuck you're doing? Come on, it's dynamite. How complicated could it be? It's lit. Get the fuck away from the hole. No one really knows why Sal Marcano turned on Thomas Burke. Uh, 
but he took Point Verdun from him and gave it to an enforcer named Roman the Butcher Barbieri, who promptly busted up one of Burke's legs. Now, Danny Burke was part of the heist crew. I mean, he was a gearhead, had never done anything like this before, but Thomas Burke insisted. He figured if the heist was a success, Sal would forgive him and return Point Verdun. Suspects on the move. Need to get behind. 